Welcome to the Clearwire Blows Just the Facts video series for Ping Times. <clears throat> I'm gonna go down over here and let you see that I've only got, you know, Photoshop and you know my recording software open, so nothing open. There's no internet activity going on. <clears throat> and we're just gonna go ahead and jump on over to PC Pit Stop and run their ping test. Now when this comes up eventually, uh, we'll be able to navigate to their internet test. And I've got a couple of different tools, but all we're going to test right now is the ping test. I'm using the Internet Explorer for this. Most of my videos are with Firefox, but I'm using Internet Explorer because it's got an ActiveX <coughs> control required to get this to work, and I've got it installed already on Internet Explorer. <coughs> and here we go, we're testing PC Pit Stop, Yahoo, Google, CNET, ESPN, and Blogger. Popular websites, a bunch of different ones, and this is testing the ping, and that's the time it takes to get a response from that server so <clears throat> as you can see these are almost all in red over here and we've even got one that timed out and that's like I was talking about in other videos about clear wire timing out if you notice all the averages are in the red and we're going to go ahead and run it one more time, you know, for good measure. <clears throat> Here we go. All in the red. Um, that's all extremely poor high latency. Uh, if you had satellite connectivity, it'd be common. But take a look at this. There's nothing that you can do to your PC to improve ping times. There's no software you can download to optimize. That's just your connection to the internet. How long it takes your connection to get a response from a website that you're requesting information from. Even worse than last time. All the average up way high, almost a thousand milliseconds. Poor high latency. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up command prompt. I'm going to run a trace route. And the trace route is kind of a debug utility. Not quite, but kind of. And I'm going to block out some of my information here because you know, obviously you know, I don't want all my personal stuff, you know, where, what sort of clear wire connections I'm connecting to because <clears throat> I'm actively using clear wire even though it is a poor service out here in BF Egypt there's not a lot of other options though dial-up is looking pretty snazzy right now anyways the tracer utility is designed so that you can see where along the path to a website a uh, you might have slow connectivity when they're all high like this it usually means that it's your connection and not necessarily the site you're trying to connect to. You can see we just did a trace route to Google. All of them are extremely high. <clears throat> and uh, so it's not necessarily uh, you know that the site's overloaded or one of the uh, servers that connect to the site's overloaded. It's just a slow connectivity. <clears throat> One thing I want you to look at is the software and hardware firewalls can block ping packets. So as you see down here, I've got my Windows security disabled so that there's no, you know, like I said, this is just real-time factual data of running different activities online. Um, we've done the YouTube video test, the speed test for the download, uh, and here's the ping test. I've got a couple of them other ones done that I need to finish up and put online but just a real simple test so that you can see you know what kind of connection Clearwire offers it's not pretty <clears throat> 